Hey guys, I'm Amos here and today we'll be learning how to play the chorus of Frozen um, Let It Go, I mean the movie Frozen okay? and it's quite a simple arrangement and yeah, I just play it once through okay? Okay, basically it's just the chorus once and the part after the chorus and you can, you can repeat the chorus if you want to okay okay let's start with the first part which is okay so the chords for this piece for this part this whole part is C G A minor and F okay you don't have to bar the F you can just play this F okay um, okay, the first part. Okay, with your middle finger on the G string, second fret. Okay? You play one time, and then the open B string once. Okay, and then with your index finger, you play the B string first fret. Okay, so like this. Okay, the reason you use your index finger is so that you can move on to the C chord and you hit the bass once. Okay, the bass always comes after the melody for this arrangement. Okay, so like this. Okay? Next part. Okay, so from the C chord, you play the open G string one time, open E string one time, C chord. Okay, and you move on to the G chord. Okay, this G chord is a bit different. Okay, your pinky is pressing the B string. 3rd fret okay not like the normal G this is okay so again sorry and then hit the bass okay so again very very slowly from this beginning Okay, so next, from the G chord, your index finger move to the uh, B string, first fret, and then you do a pull off. Okay, so like this. Okay, so immediately after the pull off, okay, you hit the A minor chord. The A bass and the G string, okay, like this. Okay, you can see. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, and then, okay, we. we we just do it from the start again, okay? Okay, the next part, open B string, so you lift up your index finger and then you put it back and hit the F chord, okay? So from the A minor Okay 
again slowly okay and next part of the chorus you repeat the first part okay the C and the G chords which is the let it go okay For now, it's a bit different. Okay, now when you're in the G chord with your index finger, okay, you play the B string first fret one time and then back to the B string third fret. Okay, so like this. Okay. Okay, so um, the reason why I don't hold the G like this, okay, I believe most most of you will hold it like this, or like this, All right? It's cause if I want to hit this note, this rock, it's quite it's quite a stretch, okay, and it's not that comfortable. So like this, it's more flexible, okay. Okay, so again. Part two of the chorus, slowly. Okay. And then the A minor chord together with the bass. Okay, so I play I pluck the high E string and the A bass together. Okay. So. Okay. Now, my index finger. I play the E string first fret. Okay, the last string first fret, and I pull off again. Okay. So again from the A minor. Okay, and then you have to play the E string twice. Okay, so like this. One. Okay, then two times again. Okay, then you do the hammer on. I mean the pull off. Okay, again. And you end it with an F chord. Okay, so second part of the chorus, very slowly. Okay, that's actually the first part. Okay, now the second part. Next part, I play it once. Okay, so this part. Okay, for this part, C chord again, but your pinky is on the high E string, the last string, third fret. Okay? And you pluck it together with the bass. Okay, and now you lift up your pinky and you pluck in. You pluck the you pluck the bottom three strings with the bass. And then you thumb slap. You just do a mute. Okay. Then you move on to a G chord. Again, this G chord, your pinky is on the second, I mean the fifth string, the B string. Okay, so slowly. Okay, play it 
here so you can see okay next your index finger you play the B string first fret two times okay so And next is an A minor chord. Again with your pinky on the high E string, the last string, third fret. You pluck it once and then you lift up your pinky. Pluck it again and you end off with the F chord. Okay. Oh, you might want to add the thumb slap also. Then you end off with the F chord, the F chord. Okay, so again very slowly. Okay, and for me I end with three chords, just a downward strum, down stroke, A minor. G, C, and that's basically it.